Hey everybody, it is Yishan here. About a week ago, I made a Dark World deck profile and I uh, wanted to do a combo video for it. So we've got another ultimate combo video, but the problem with the Dark World deck is that there isn't really a, I open A and I get B sort of combo line. You have to sort of play it by ear and every hand is a little different, which makes it fun but also makes it harder to make a combo video about. So what I'll be trying to do in this video is doing some test hands, as well as show you some of the basics in, when it comes to comboing with Dark World. And then we can see and we can go from there. So this is the build I have in front of me. This is what I've been playing for a, a hot second here, and I've been enjoying it. Um, yeah, so you know, this is what I've been playing. Let's go into the combos, okay? Let's think about this hand. Okay, we have two gates, not a good start to our combo, but we do have an allure. Uh, so we're gonna have to start with the allure here, right? We're, I mean, this is not the greatest hand, but we do have allure to bail us out. So we'll draw two and we're gonna banish our multidimensional kaiju, okay? Now we could go jackalope straight away here, but none of these really seem to help us. We're still kind of looking for a starter here. So we'll go allure again and we will draw two and we've got ourselves a snow and a Genta. Now this is a tough point in the game, okay? And there are a lot of options here. You could banish Jackalope. Why would you banish Jackalope? Well, because you want to keep all your Dark Worlds or Silva. You're not going to banish Snow or Genta, right? Because it just makes no sense. Uh, these are your best cards in your hand right now, and Genta is going to get this whole train rolling. Now, if this was a real game, I would probably banish my Silva because I I have another one in deck, right? And if my Genta gets ashed, I'll be okay because I have um, Jackalope as well as some other stuff. It's it's tough. It's a really, really close call between Silva and Jackalope. Jackalope, if you keep it, you get a chance at discarding more cards, which we might need with this hand. So I'm actually going to try and banish the Silva this time. We have we have two for this very reason. So I'm actually going to banish the Silva off my this allure. And now we're going to activate Genta. Now the truth is we really don't care if this gets Ash or not. Some hands Ash and Genta hurts a lot, but we already have so many gates here that it's not gonna matter too much. And for the purposes of this video, I'm not gonna talk too much about trying to play around hand traps every which way, um, but that's what we'll do. So we're going to banish this Genta, uh, discard the snow and then draw a card, okay? And then we're gonna go, we almost always wanna go chain link one snow, chain link two Genta to protect the snow from our ash. So we drew the field spell, we're gonna summon this back and then we are going to search. Now, what can we get here? I really, really want to search Rainbow. Why do I want to search Rainbow? Because I've got the field, I've got the fusion, I've got the field spell already, and I want to start getting those high level dark worlds that can start, I can start bouncing all my cards back into my hand, right? So no need to go for Genta or anything crazy that just yet. Let's go for our Rainbow, okay? Now, I want to, I. Part of me wants to just activate this gate. That's, that's what a lot of players would do here. Banish the snow and discard this rainbow and, and go off to the races. But I actually don't want to do that. And the reason is, is because I actually want to try to use this jackalope to either hit this Dark World Ascension or this rainbow. I really want to try to keep my snow in the graveyard um, for plays like Cross Sheep, where if we have Cross Sheep here, we can Fusion Summon and then special back our snow in it. That'll really, really help us with our combo. So what I'm going to do is I'm just actually going to activate another gates before I declare Danger Jackalope. So a lot of the skill with this deck is just maximizing your dangers to get the best results, okay? And we're gonna roll our dice here. We'll go one, two, three, four, six, five, six rerolls. So let's see what we got here. That's a one. So I'm actually happy with that hit. I love, obviously Rainbow would have been the best. Jackalope would have been fine as well. Um, but we're able to discard our Dark World Ascension and then draw a card. Now I drew card destruction. Card destruction makes everything easy, um, but we will uh, we'll figure that out in, a, in just a second here. So here's a trick, right? This is why I love having Cross Sheep in the deck. What we can do is we can return our fusion spell to our hand and then discard Rainbow, okay? Rainbow is gonna search us Grapha. In fact, one trick I've learned with this deck is if you can use Rainbow to search Grapha, you should, because Grapha can bounce Rainbow and then you'll eventually still be able to get to your Silva. 
Um, so that's sort of the technology here. Now, what can we do next? Well, what we'll do is we'll use our rainbow because we're gonna, uh, to, to, we just want the value. So we're gonna bounce this Genta back to our hand. Now, a lot of times I would use this Genta for another gates, but we're already out of gates. What we're gonna do now is we're actually going to link summon into our cross sheep. And this is where it gets really, really cool. I love cross sheep in this deck for this specific reason, because now when we activate our Dark World Ascension, we can discard our Grapha and banish the Jackalope that we don't need. And we can special summon our Grapha um, here. And then our cross sheep will trigger. Grapha will as well, but it's not going to do anything. And we can use that to summon back our snow, right? Because when you fusion summon, you can special summon one level four or lower monster back from your grave. Really, really cool. Okay. And this is really important because it allows us to get our snow back to our hand with our rainbow. And then if we want, we can also get our Grapha back to our hand with our rainbow. Now, we are in a very, very, very advantageous position right now because, well, we have all this stuff in our hand. And uh, the truth is, it's kind of over for our opponent. So what we're going to do now is we just have this card destruction. I'm not going to, you know, there's a lot. You could go for gates and try to link some stuff off and, and or normal Genta and use that to banish for, for these guys. But we already have what we need. We have the card destruction. That's going to make life really easy. We're going to discard all of these here. Right, and now we're gonna try to get into the hand loop portion of the video. So we discarded four, I believe. So we'll draw four here, right? And uh, then of course we will use rainbow and snow. So rainbow is gonna grab us the silva, which we need to do the hand loop with. And then snow is gonna grab us the Cerule, yes. So we're almost here, right? I noticed this is why I really like Dark World Dealings in this deck is because it gives you another a uh, way to to pop off basically with all your cards um and i'm just trying to remember here if we've used this dark world and sometimes i can't even remember i don't think so uh because this was banished off a of lore and this was these were banished off a of lore this was banished off the fusion spell and um our first gates banished the genta so special attacks so i don't think we've used this gates yet it's sometimes hard to keep track of but we don't even need to use gates in this hand what we can do now is uh, we can start like for example we could use the dark world dealings here right so we go dark world dealings right it would draw a card and then we discard Cerule. now i'm just going to represent Cerule as a token because it's easier that way because uh, i can't get it back if uh, i put it on my opponent's field and then Cerule is going to trigger that's going to force us to discard our silva silva is going to trigger it's going to special summon it back and then we're going to rip two cards from their hand right so that's two rips all right just so we're keeping track of it here now, of course, we can return this back to our hand, um, special summon our, our rainbow. And, you know, there are a couple options here, but the easiest one is probably a Kashyyyk Magician, right? So this is a beast, unfortunately, so we can't quite, um, we can't quite uh, use that as material for Akashic because Akashic or Kashik needs two monsters of the same type. So what we can do here is we can just throw away one of our nightmares. We'll do like this, and then we can do like this, and we'll summon our Akashic Magician. So Akashic Magician will bounce the Cerule back to our hand, okay? We'll do that, and then we can now use our gates here, our, our final gates, to banish it, to discard our Cerule again, and then, of course, Cerule is going to trigger. It's going to summon out our Silva. And then Silva is going to rip two more. So now we've ripped four cards from their hand. And now you can sort of make any play that you want. You can return this to your hand. Special summon this guy. And then go maybe even Mothman, right? Uh, Mothman can... You know, there, there's so many options here. We can even return this to our hand and then summon back our Grapha, right? And then try to go uh, Mothman effect, right? So we'll go Mothman and we can try to set this. We actually, let's set this fusion spell before we use Mothman, right? There's just so many options. We can try to make Appaloosa. One play I like to make here is try to end on the uh, Nightmare Griffin. So we discard five, special this, draw a card, and then we can use this snow to search... I guess Dark World Archives, and then Dark World Archives can activate its effect. And we can say, okay, Dark World Archives, um, 
discard this to make everything gain attack. And then we'll go chain link one, archives chain link two, rainbow. Rainbow is gonna search out our Grapha. So we'll use this Grapha as a pop for our fusion summon, right? And then um, archives can trigger, so we can discard this, draw two, and then Silva will trigger. As you can see here, it just gets a little, little ridiculous. Then rainbow can go to our hand. You could have just made Abelusa at this point for four. Um, but one play that that is a, a fan favorite, shall we say, is to link these off into Muckraker and then use Muckraker's effect, discarding, it doesn't really matter. We can discard Silva to special back uh, Snow if you want to do that or Cerule or anything but the Snow and then Silva will trigger and then Rainbow will trigger allowing us to add it back to our, or not trigger, but you can use the effect, and then you can link all four of these into your um, Nightmare Griffin. So that's one really, really good play. It allows you, even after you fiend lock yourself, you can still summon Griffin, and you can loop for four, plus have an gate, plus have a pop with this fusion summon by discarding this Grapha for your second uh, fusion. So that's just one example of a combo here. Um, and you know, that's uh, the end board. So we looped our opponent for four, we have an Omni negate plus a pop plus they can't activate monster effects um, that are special summon. So you know, really, really str strong stuff there. And, and if you wanted to set like your, you don't even need an extra fusion spell because you can just set this fusion spell that's already in your graver by using griffin by discarding a card so you actually don't need the second fusion spell um it's 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 still doable all on the same term so that's one option this hand is really really good for for option number two we have genta genta plus snow or rainbow just feels so so powerful um so you know this is an easy combo we had a harder one last time with the allures and dangers early but as you can see, when you draw Genta, I'm just gonna special summon it right away. Okay, you know what? We'll go We'll go one more time where we don't special Genta. We'll go discard, draw a card. Now again, what do you search with Rainbow? Usually if you can, so chain like one, Rain, chain like two, Genta. You usually wanna search Grapha if the option presents itself, right? So okay, let's search Grapha. Because what we're trying to do is we're trying to loop, we're trying to get value out of this, uh, out of all this stuff here, right? And we, again, we see we have the Ascension plus, um, plus all this stuff. So what can we do? Is it time for? You bet. You you betcha. If you ever can have the opportunity to do the cross sheep line, you should do it, right? So what we can do is we're going to always, of course, get your value, of course, right? Of course, get your value here. And we have a Zephyrus, which is actually a pretty good normal summon in this deck. There's not, you know, there's not really any normal summon, so I never feel bad normal summoning Zephyrus. And this is a a prime opportunity to do it, basically. Um, there's also, you know, if you wanted to, you could do a lot more things, but I want to get this graph in the graveyard, right? So one option is to try to discard this graph and to bounce your own rainbow, but I want this graph in the graveyard, right? Um, so lots of stuff here, but what I'm going to do first is I'm going to get the snow in the graveyard, right? So I'll go draw one and then pitch the snow and then snow. I'm just going to go straight for the Cerule because I'm already going to hand loop them really, really soon. I already know it. I can already see it. So I'll just go straight for the Cerule and then I'll normal summon this Zephyros. And then what we can do is we can link again for the cross sheep. And as you can see, every time you get cross sheep, basically, basically it's GG, right? So we can activate our Ascension, discard this, banish um, the Genta, because we're not going to need it anymore for our good friend, the Grapha which is gonna to trigger to summon back the snow, which is gonna, of course, trigger to return this to the hand to special summon back our rainbow. And then it's gonna special summon back our Grapha by returning our rainbow. So you can see it gets a little, a little ridiculous. And then of course, what we're gonna do is we're gonna special summon back our Zephyros, returning the gates to our hand. And then we can activate the gates again. Um, so, so, so many options here one thing i would like to do now sort of is to get like a fiend in the graver because i want to i want to pitch my um rainbow to get uh the cerule in the graveyard right so there's a there's a lot of options here um you could just make a nightmare that's one very very valid option i'll just show it here like you could just throw away a nightmare basically um you know 
and that that works very well uh so like yeah just turn like this throw this into a cerberus and then throw these into like a unicorn or something and then this will give you uh you don't have to banish your grapha this way but this way you can banish this to discard your snow also don't forget you have the fusion spell in your graveyard so you can just add this back to your hand and discard another card to allow you to um discard whatever you'd like in this case, I'm just going to go this route and show you this way because it's I think it's kind of cool. We're going to, um, sorry, I draw first and then I add um, the silver to my hand from the rainbow. And now we're sort of off to the races here. So what we can do is we can now we can use the fusion spell here um, and then add it to our hand. And then that's going to discard Cerule. The Cerule, remember, we're just going to make a token here and give it to our opponent. And then Cerule is going to trigger. It's going to discard our... Silva and then Silva is going to loop two, right? So then we can return this back to our hand for a rainbow. And then we do we even need to use the Grapha to summon back? I sure why not, right? <laughs> hey, it's we might as well. Let's have some fun here. So we'll go this, we'll go this, and then what we can do is we can link these off for our good friend, the Acacia Magician. As you can see here, we'll bounce the Cerule back into our hand. And then one nice thing, if you have like um, this Dark World uh, Archives card, is you can just activate it. And it's just another form of discard, right? Uh, you could, of course, use this Gates as to banish your Unicorn because you just linked a bunch of Fiends in the Graver. But we'll just, for the sake of the example, you know, use this and discard our Cerule, right? And then you can also draw to discard a card because you discarded a Cerule by this effect, but we're not going to get into that. Cerule is going to special summon itself back to the, where the token is, which was going to discard Silva. That's going to be a loop for four. And uh, we can go back to hand and then special summon the Grapha. And, you know, as you can see, it's it gets a little ridiculous. We've looped them for four. Um, there's more stuff we could do like we could have used the archive to discard the rainbow to add another graph of for dark world of session next turn but you kind of get the point we're there already there your, your opponent's probably not winning if you're comboing that much right okay guys so i kind of scuffed up my last hand and this hand is just a brick there's just no two ways about it you literally well it's actually not a brick so i will try to play this one out because i think this is a really interesting hand you have pretty much no choice but to start with archives and normal summon snow uh, you have to normal summon snow because you can only use archives attack boost effect while you have a dark world card that's just the rule so what can we do first well we're gonna have to actually this hand's fine it's not a brick as long as of course they don't uh stop this but we're gonna have to use our archives uh, and we'll discard our snow yes we'll discard our snow and then it'll be chain link one, uh, snow chain. Uh, it's like hard to say. Do you want to do you want to try to protect your archives? I think probably here it's worth it to try to protect your archives. So I would actually go chain link one archives, chain link two snow. Snow is probably just going. It's like ninety nine percent of the time it's going to get us Genta. Um, and then we're going to go rainbow. Or we're going to discard the rainbow, draw two. And then Rainbow will trigger, and we drew, of course, we drew Silva and Grapha. Um, let's just get another Silva, then. That's not the end of the world here. So as you can see, we're, we're sort of still playing here. Just immediately return this straight back to our hand. Why not? Um, and actually, it wasn't really a brick at all. So it turns out uh, uh, that, that Dark World card, if, if you have a lot of Dark World cards in your hand and you can normal summon one of them, you're kind of saved there, right? So uh, we're going to use the Gates, Banish the Genta. Uh, and then I think we're going to discard Snow here and draw a card. Snow is going to allow us... I was going to search the Dark World Accession, but now that they have uh, kindly added to our hand, it's going to be a Cerule angle. Okay, so now, um, unfortunately, I can't link both... Like I can't bounce this in any way, so we're just going to link both of these off into the Cross Sheep sheep of the cross and then we can activate this uh pitch pitch summon our uh summon our fusion and then of course since we have we have a lot of chain links here but chain link one will be like cerule chain link two will be grapha chain link three will be cross sheep targeting the snow and then we'll again use the token for our cerule 
Uh, and then Cerule will trigger, forcing us to discard the Silva. And then they're going to be hand looped for two. So that's two on the hand loop there. And then we can bounce both of these to our hand for one for the rainbow, one for the Grapha. And as you can see here, we've pretty much successfully hand looped them once again. Um, so let's turn this into our good friend. Uh, let's turn it into our good friend Phoenix and then turn these two into a Kashik Magician. And then it'll bounce the Cerule back to our hand. And then, of course, what will we do now? Well, again, we will use the fusion spell to add it to our hand. And then we will discard the Cerule. And then Cerule is going to trigger. It's going to make us discard Silva. And then Silva is going to activate. Special summon this back to our field. Loop them for four. Um, and then that is pretty pretty good here let me see if we can extend any further i'm just trying to check here i think probably we can extend maybe a little more we loop them for four obviously we're going to summon this back adding this to our hand i just like i would love to get one more monster out um but right now i don't have the capability to because um i want to make basically i want to make appaloosa so i'm trying to see if there's a way to make appaloosa here we already looped them for four and honestly this would probably be good enough um, but i'm just trying to see if we have any options here um maybe i am missing something no i mean i could go for muckraker muckraker on genta bounce the genta and uh yeah maybe that's uh that's a play go for another gates maybe uh we can try it so i think there's no there's no harm because we're not going to be able to end on appaloosa anyway we can go for muckraker and then muckraker uh discard silva summon uh or discard snow always discard snow sorry excuse me uh discard Snow summon doesn't really matter. We'll discard it. We'll summon another snow, and then snow will activate. Let's see what can snow get us. That will just let us um, discard more cards. We'll probably go snow for gates or dark world dealings. I mean, it's both. They're both good. I'll probably just go for Genta because it thins one more card out of the deck, right? So we're gonna go for Genta to add the gates. Um, and then the problem with this line is if we draw a danger, it's not going to actually do enough because we just don't have, um, the, we just don't have the, the material, but that's okay. We will, we will figure it out here. Um, so I think what I want to do in this case is actually just bounce this to my hand and then use the gates to get another Grapha. That's probably our best play here, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to use this, use the gates to get another Grapha. Um, and then we can use, we just drew the triple tactics. So we'll use the triple tactics to look at our opponent's hand, shuffle away the last cards. So we looped them for five. And then, um, we have an Omni negate plus this. So if they summon something that we can pop, we just activate a session and we pop it. Otherwise we should be good. So we just kind of completely hand looped our opponent. I think we can stop here. So this was a, a little combo test hand video. Um, I went through a lot of the same lines. Yeah, cross sheep, really powerful. A um, lot, a lot of good options here. I never got to show off like zombie vampire and stuff. There's a lot of cool lines there as well. If you use it to try to get more dark worlds, it comes up sometimes. Um, and we didn't really use security dragon either. Security dragon's more of like a, I used it with my muckraker if I needed to make muckraker first or something like that. So a lot of really interesting stuff here. Um, yeah, I, I think... Really, really cool deck. Uh, it's pretty consistent. Sometimes you can brick. Like, we almost bricked that last hand. Luckily, we uh, made it out alive. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought. Combo with this deck is like kind of new every game. So it's very exciting. Um, until next time, guys, I will see you all in the next video.